Ladies and gentlemen, I am here to present to you a very old fable, Belling the Cat by Isaac. Long ago, the mice held a general council to consider what measures they could take to outwit their common enemy, the cat. Some said this, and some said that, but at last, a young mouse got up and said he had a propose, proposal to make, which he thought would meet the case. You will all agree, said he, that our chief danger consists in the sly and treacherous manner in which the enemy approaches us now. If we could receive any signal for her approach, we could easily escape from her. I venture, therefore, to propose that a small bell be procured and attached by a ribbon around the neck of the cat. By this means, we should always know when she was about and could easily retire while she was in the neighborhood. This proposal met the gen with general applause until an old mouse got up and said, That is all very well, but wha who is the bell the cat? The mice looked at one together and nobody spoke. Then the old mouse said, It is easy to propose impossible remedies. Another another story about cat and mice by Isop with title The Cat and the Mice. There was once a house that was overrun with mice. A cat heard of this and said to herself, that's the place for me. And up she went to took up her quarters in the house and caught the mice one by one and ate them. At last the mice could stand it in no longer, and they determined to take their holes and stay there. That's awkward, said the cow to herself. The only thing that to do is to coax them out by a trick. So she considered a while and then climbed up the wall and let herself hang down by her hind fingers from a peg and pretended to be dead. By and by, a mouse peeped and out and saw the cat hanging there. Aha! it cried. You're very clever, madame, no doubt, but you may turn yourself into a bag of meal hanging there. If you like, you won't catch us coming anywhere near you. The lesson at the cat and the mouse by Aesop is, if you were wise, you won't be deceived by the innocent heirs of those whom you have once be found to be dangerous. Okay, that was the end of the story for now because I would be asleep for now because it's already nine o'clock the normal time for a child like me is nine o'clock so would I retain and and say goodbye to you like I say goodbye to other people like you bye bye Bye, 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 bye.